Hi there Pisces, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to do your August 9th through the 31st love reading. This is August 9th through the 31st. I want to thank all my subscribers, watchers, likes, comments, and people that share on Facebook and whatnot. I'm almost up to 10,000 subscribers thanks to all that, so thank you very much. Now let's get down to business. What do we have for Spice? Spice! What do we have for spice? What do we have for Pisces? And you guys will get to know me if you don't already. I say things so fast sometimes that it does not come out right. Um, but anyhow, what do you have for Pisces? August 9th through the 31st. <laughs> Spice must have been something for you. I mean, it seriously must have been. Usually that kind of stuff happens when there's a meaning but for it. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo at the forefront of your reading. No doubt. Strong. Earth energy right there at the beginning of your reading. Uh, must be you're thinking about a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. <laughs> I'm leaning toward a Taurus because here we have Taurus. So, okay. Here we have a Sagittarius. Maybe you need to make a choice between two people. I don't know. Or, you know, you've been overindulging in some way, and this card is telling you that you need to slow down. Um, something needs to be done in moderation. Okay, so we're going to go back to the beginning here. Here we have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Both cards, okay? This one, they're both very, um, they move slowly. They're practical, um, responsible. Um... This one is more action oriented. This one is very um, wise. Okay, so let's get some more cards. But this is just telling me that they're very strong, um, strong on your mind at this time, or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart is is uh, is prominent. The King of Pentacles is more about control and power and hard work. The Daughter of Pentacles is less experienced, more immature, um, more of a follower than than the than the father. Um, she's more about building a foundation. This guy or girl. This is a male or a female, by the way. Don't pay any attention. It's it's just a court card, okay? They're very, you know, they've already earned their their keep. They are, they're already settled. This one is just starting again, you know, or starting new, building a new foundation. Um, here we have the judgment call. This is an awakening. Perhaps you're going to have some kind of epiphany that leads you to follow your path towards this person. Maybe you've been thinking about them and you don't dare to do anything or... Who knows what it is, but here we have the Hierophant, which is also a Taurus, and this is saying that you need to follow your own path, okay? You need to do what's right for you. You need to be true to yourself. You need to believe in yourself. You need to um, honor your yourself. Are you listening to your inner guide? Because this also tells me that you know, your inner self has been talking to you and you may not be following it. I mean, it may not be listening to your intuition. Um, this is also a card for marriages, you know, and it's pointed over here at this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo person. So I'm not sure if you are really, you know, having a breakthrough with this person or you're having an awakening or something. But with this, it looks like there's some, this is either about overindulgence or um, something neat, something um, was not done moderately, okay? Something, there's a need for balance and moderation, okay? Are 
are you looking to build a new foundation with somebody are you look are you have you been manifesting um security and stability with this earth sign because this is an ability this is a gift from the universe or god or your angels or your spirits or whoever that you honor this is a gift for them saying okay i'm going to give you this this bowl of um pentacles you know this bowl of what the what the fuck is the word for i can't think of the word this bowl of um wishes i guess and uh, or manifestation that's what it is it's manifestation for security and stability with this person what are you going to do with it it's like a rock okay i'm going to give you this what are you going to do with it it's like a wish fulfillment of some sort you know what i mean i'm going to give this to you what are you going to do with it this is a gift and you have it right now okay it's an opportunity um they're giving you this opportunity to manifest security stability um with this person okay if it's not an earth sign it's somebody with strong earth in their chart or somebody who acts like this person very steadfast grounded um family oriented okay um here we have the three of wands this is about something finally happening it's movement okay this is movement after an awakening okay perhaps there's been some immaturity that has delayed movement but it looks like movement is finally happening and it's happening because of some kind of wake-up call perhaps you have decided to take back your power or your control or you've decided to put yourself in the, take the lead on this situation you know paired up with the Hierophant and maybe you've decided you know you've been listening maybe you have been listening to your inner guys and you're like you know what I have to do something I'm going to take control now all right this is about your dreams and wishes i think that you've it's been like a fantasy of yours and and because you've been fantasizing about all this and that's how you've been getting it's been like an illusion and fantasy and i mean you've maybe been taken the escape route and overindulged in alcohol or drugs or food or spending or whatnot to get through this period of not taking control of a situation you know of hiding behind something because this card is here telling you to take control all right and the universe is giving you the raw potential it's a bowl of raw potential that's what it is they're giving you this raw potential to um start over with security and stability okay to grow it Okay, so here we have major life experience. The universe or the, the higher powers are here to help you with this. Okay, they're going to help you take that leadership role. They're going to help you follow your own path. They're going to, they're going to, um, whatever delays there, there were, they're going to, they're going to stop. They're going to start them back up again. And they're going to push, I think they're going to push you closer towards this, this person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. <coughs> okay. Because here we have this shakeup. It's connected to all these. It's connected to this. This is a uh, Aries, okay. Um, but it's also this is about um, structure, logic, discipline, um, taking control, taking back your power, doing what you need to do. Um, after an awakening, you're gonna have some major epiphany that is going to change everything. This major epiphany. <coughs> is a gift from the universe all right and at first it might seem like the wrong thing but it really isn't the wrong thing okay <laughs> here's the nine of pentacles this tells me that you have been living very well that you have been taking care of yourself very well independently and that you have been just very comfortable content um you're financially stable and you um you've been this is the singles card you know it feels like you've been single and you're ready to um move forward you're gonna have an you're gonna have an awakening of some sort two of wands oh boy another two mm, okay so this is your card as well pisces this is, represents pisces i think that you have this has been very secretive i think you've been keeping something a secret 
um, because you just don't know what the reaction will be. You've heard, you maybe you're afraid that you're gonna get um, shut down very quickly. Maybe you're afraid that you know um, things. Maybe think maybe somebody is gonna act uh, out at you in a harsh way. I think. Um, You have definitely been, um, I think that you've been escaping reality a little bit. And I think that you um, are about to receive the truth of a situation or you're going to see the truth of a situation. Some kind of clarity is going to come to you um, that is going to open your eyes and cause you to take some kind of action, you know, where you assert your um, power, all right? Um, here we have the two of pentacles. This is about, we have two twos right next to each other. So this is about faith and trust. It's about duality. It's about choices and decisions. Maybe you need to make a choice between two people <coughs> or between work and love. That could be one of them. Either way, you have to make a choice between two things. Maybe you have to ch make a choice between being single and being with somebody. I don't know. Um, here we, ha this is the, this one right here, the two of wands, this is about a fork in the road. Do you choose to, to um, go left or right? Do you choose to focus on, on, um, focus your time on yourself or do you choose to focus your time on something else, following a different path or following your own path? So those are pretty much the same. There's a fork in the road, and you need to choose right which way to go. And the universe is going to help you. The universe is going to help you somehow choose a path. And it could be towards this Hierophant, which is a Taurus. Okay? And we have Taurus at both ends. So I don't know what this is. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo here, and then Taurus right here next to this fork in the road. This is also an Aries, but do you... Maybe you had power struggles in the past with this person. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to get some more cards. There's definitely something that's unknown. That's why I can't figure it out. Because there's something that's unknown. Maybe it's meant to be unknown. When the tower comes, it's supposed to be unexpected so that it really shakes you up and changes your life. Okay? And this is something that's unknown. It has to do with your finances, though. I think it has to do with your time and your energy and where you put it. You know what I mean? Do you put it into love or do you put it into work and, and money? I think that's what it has to do, do with. This is about things being a bit chaotic right now. Things are be, are a little crazy in your life. And, and the universe sees that as well because it's connected. The tower is connected to it. So the universe is, or the tower or whatever, this shakeup is here to change everything. It's, it is. It's going to change everything for you. Um, and it might be a little scary at first. First, I think something is going to happen that that is going to... Um, there's a lot of power right here, okay? There's a lot of power and control, so I think there's some power struggles for sure. I think there's some power struggles or the, you can't lose control. I think that you, you don't want to lose control of a situation. But maybe you need some help because it looks like there's just a little bit too much. It looks like there's, it, there's some juggling going on here. And you've been handling it well and keeping it a secret. You have. I think you've been keeping it a secret, but it's really overwhelming to you. I think there's some overwhelmingness going on. And the tower is here to um, shake things up for you. Okay? Um, hmm. There's going to be a breakdown 
no matter what. Oh, I got cards mixed up here. There's going to be a breakdown no matter what in your um, current situation that you're in. There's going to be a breakdown and it's going to actually end up being a breakthrough. All right. That's what the tower does. It's a breakdown that becomes a breakthrough. All right. Funny, my cards were a little mixed up. Kind of like this whole reading. I think things. I think that you must be mixed up. So the the minute I hit record, the whole readings for you, and um, you wouldn't believe the stuff that the spirits do for for us for the private readings. It's crazy. So you know, I think that things are a little mixed up in your in your life right now, and I think that the universe is going to cause a breakdown. They're going to cause some kind of breakdown that is actually going to be a breakthrough. I think that things are a little chaotic. I think um, <laughs> there's a lot of control issues here in this situation. I'm not sure what they are, but there's definitely some control. And I think some truth is going to be come out that's going to cause you to have an awakening on something. I don't see a lot of love right here. It's all about, I think it's all about work. Um, I think that you want love. I think that you've been thinking about an earth sign. Um, could could be you are you have to choose between an Earth sign and a Sagittarius and a, or Aries. I'm not sure, but I think <coughs> um, things are starting to move, and I think it's the spear. See, I can't even hold on to the cards. Things are a freaking mess. And I think that your life must be a mess right now. I haven't had this problem at all, not at all. It's crazy. It is. It's like crazy. And that's why this two of pentacles came up. It's craziness. I think that there's some craziness going on in your life. <laughs> and I think you, you need a little, you need some help. I think there's, you might be losing control of something. Put it that way. Uh, you might be losing the control that you used to have over something. And I think that that's part of it. And I think you've been going, taking the escape route. I do. I think that, you know, there's been some overindulgence, maybe with drugs, alcohol, food, spending, something like that. You probably do need to make a choice between two people. <laughs> this pretty much says yes, you do. I think there's two people or, or or something. I think there's that you need to make a choice between two people and um I think one of them could be your soulmate. I think there's a strong magnetic bond. The other one you might be more of a sexual attraction. Um and you just, you know, it's a mess. It's a mess, and that's why I feel like it's such a mess. I feel like this reading is such a mess. It's a mess. All right, I feel like um, you've had this unexpected person come in, and you are very, very attracted to them. I think you're very attracted to them. I think you feel very good around them. I think they make you feel good, but you still have this bond with this other person, and now you're stuck, and you don't know what to do. All right? So, um, there's definitely a soulmate here in this reading. One of these people is your soulmate. The tower is right here next to this. Okay, something is about to happen that is going to bring all of this to light and is going to help you to make a choice. You are going to have to make a choice. Now, here we have Capricorn. Here we have Gemini. Here we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Here we have Sagittarius. Here we have Aries. <coughs> <coughs> We have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and Taurus and Capricorn are both here a couple of times. Taurus is here three times. Anyway, you definitely have more than one person on your mind, and I think addictions play a big part in this month, and I think obsessions, I think power and control is a very big deal. Um, I think that sex, carnal desires and sex is a big thing right now, and I think that maybe one of them you know, is more sexual than the other, or more you're more sexually attracted to than the other, but the other one you're more um, bound to, 
you know, I'm not sure what the whole story is, but I definitely see that there's um, more than one person. And the universe going to make you choose, okay? Yep. Mm-hmm. The truth is about to come out, put it that way. About something, and I'm not sure what it is. It could be that somebody that you're seeing has somebody else. If it's not you, it could be some, whoever you're with has somebody else. But I do see that an unexpected choice in love is either here or has already arrived. Okay? And you just are very, very attracted to him. Him or her. Very, very attracted. And they definitely could be your soulmate. Definitely. <coughs> Let go of control issues. Boy, we've been talking about that, haven't we? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay? You're bound with somebody. Up, oh, This is in the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo section. Give the relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay? Over here, with this, with the mostly fire signs over here. We also have a Gemini as well, but it's mostly fire signs. But, I think this is in general. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. You, There's something going to happen that is going to bring out some truth. Okay? It could be delivered without tact. And it could be very... Um, emotional okay it could be emotional it could hurt um anyway something is going to come out there's going to be some kind of awakening it's going to come harshly all right and you're going to want to you know there's going to be power and control issues i i see it clearly <coughs> this card is just telling you just let it go whatever it is let it go Your love life is being affected by children. Perhaps one of these people has children. Could be you. But it is definitely affecting your love life. Okay? It's just the way it is. I'm going to give you one of my vintage oracle, vintage wisdom oracle cards. It's my new deck I'm going to have to read out of the book. But it seems to be working very well for everybody else. I can, I just really see that everything is a mess right now, seriously, in your life, because this has been such a messy reading. You know, it's been very confusing. I think that you are very, very confused. I think there's power struggles going on. I think you need some help, maybe with your business or with um, something. I don't know. I think you need some help. I think that you have more than one person on your mind, and... You know, it's just very, very confusing. You're about to have an epiphany. The, you're going to have a major life experience. It's a karmic thing. Uh, Destiny's going to come into play. They're going to shake things up for you because they see the chaos that's going on up there. And they're going to they're gonna bring something out and it, and it could hurt. Ooh, expression. I'm going to zoom that in for you, and then I'm going to read it. The presence of the expression card invites you to look closer for any restrictive fears that might veil the glory of your God-given authentic self-expression. 
Verbal communication is just one aspect of self-expression. When words fail, there are many ways to interact with the world. Find your voice and innovate new ways to do things through the creative arts, the way you dress or how you relate to others in the world around you. However you feel moved to respond, be open to new ways of communicating. Dare to risk, then go forth and shine. Expression. Interesting. So Pisces, I know that reading just seemed a little confusing. It did to me anyway. I don't know if this will resonate with anybody, um, but I think that life must be very confusing for you at this time. I don't know what is going on, but I think that we do have the tower right here in the middle that is going to shake things up, okay? It's going to shake things up, and it does have to do with love. It has to do with love because we have we have these two people on each side. And I think it, it's probably a soulmate, all right? Um, but the thing is, is you're going to have to let go of control issues. There's some big power struggles um, during these next couple of weeks. And I, that's between you and I don't know who could be. <laughs> I think it's a fire sign that the power struggles are with. Um, but I think there's also a strong, strong sexual attraction. But, um, yeah, it's, that's, it's just, I don't even know what to say. It just looks like a complete mess to me. Um, wow. There's definitely some overindulgence going on these next three weeks probably in the in the need to escape all that's happening there's definitely chaos there's it's a chaotic a ninth through the 31st put it that way um there's some secrets okay and i think you're keeping some secrets about your feelings i think your feelings are hidden i think you've been keeping your feelings very very hidden and um i think that something is going to happen that might cause you to express them because you're going to have an awakening all right, you're gonna have an awakening. Um, try to express them with tact, though. When something happens, try to be kind, because it, this tells me that you could come through as a little too strong. You know, you could you could be a little too hurtful. So try to be kind. Okay, whenever something happens, whatever truth comes out, and if it flips you off, you know try to act it be in control as much as you can keep control of your temper okay keep control stay in control um, don't let anybody shake you because you know there's a chance that you could be shaken um, so yeah that is what I have for you that's the 9th through the 31st um, this is an act now think later card all right if I hadn't told you that before. So whatever's coming is going to cause you to act fast. Okay? So when it comes, be sure to try to be kind. Okay? Try to be kind. Try try to act with uh, gentle ease rather than harshness. All right? Just, just try. Um, good luck. 